Good evening and thank you for tuning in to Newswatch Ole Miss. I'm Matthew Henley. And I'm Sarah Kate Caliguire. A huge weekend in Oxford. It was filled with pro-Confederate marches, counter-protesters, and basketball players taking a knee during Saturday's game against Georgia. Thanks, Tori. Now shifting our focus to the Confederate marches and counter-protests on campus over the weekend. The Confederate groups starting their day on the Oxford Square. Newswatch reporter Madison Scarpino was there capturing all of the action. They came to and before marching to the circle on campus, a famous pro-Confederate activist also arriving on the square. I stopped to talk with H.K. Edgerton, who is African-American and also supports Confederate heritage. Here's what he had to say about the opposition to this weekend's protest. But I'm telling you, just like this, I'm saying to you now. Some frightening footage here. A tornado ripping through Columbus, Mississippi on Saturday night. This video being taken inside a convenience store as the twister passes down the street. What a weekend. Thanks for joining us. That's all we have for tonight for a complete look at our coverage from this past weekend. The death toll from a wave of bombings across Sri Lanka yesterday increasing to nearly 300. Now the U.S. is responding and offering support to the nation. Washington today reacting to a series of attacks that ripped through churches and hotels on Easter Sunday in Sri Lanka. Very interesting to see. Back to you, Matthew and Lauren. Well, it's good to see you put Ole Miss in the top ten. Well, it's definitely Thank you, Colin and Tori. Well, Ole Miss isn't the only school that's happy with their newest recruits, as many local signees are putting smiles on colleges around the country. Well, it's been a wild national signing day. I know you guys have been working hard all day. <laughs> so final hot takes on signing day. What you got, Tori? I got a smashing success. I mean, any, now, do you guys think we got enough um, as far as the wide receiver core goes to fill that role of A.J. Brown, D.K. Metcalf? Absolutely. I mean, that, I appreciate it, guys. Well, that's a wrap on national signing day. Thank you for tuning in to this special edition of Newswatch Ole Miss. I'm Matthew Henry. Donut sticks, are they the next big thing? I doubt it. Donuts are fine the way they are. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, though, especially for fast food chains. And Mississippi Democratic Attorney General Jim Hood and Republican Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves both getting heat over the weekend for racist pictures found in their college yearbooks. Supermoon will reach its peak tomorrow morning at 9.54 a.m. Central Time. But it won't be visible then, obviously. Well, we're not really going to be able to see it due to the rain and clouds. Possibly. Yeah, I didn't see the first one. I don't remember it. Probably won't see this one. <laughs> Put my money on the third one. William, uh, Thanks, AJ. Well, if your ex is still bugging you, don't fret because one Texas zoo has a solution. Last week, the zoo posted on Facebook that you can name a cockroach after your ex then watch it be fed to a meerkat on Valentine's Day. Have you ever played Bean Boozled? Bean yeah. Boozled? Where you try the, what's your, what's your favorite? Oh, those ones, that's actually where I find my All favorite. Right, and we'll yeah. be in the 50, so it's pretty great. It's awesome. Yeah. That's Mississippi weather for you. Definitely. Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> that's all we have for tonight. Thank you for tuning in to Newswatch Ole Miss. I'm Matthew Henry.